as you all know it is the uh, this period where guys are shooting their shots so we have uh, a very serious person here who is something then is the one who is going to say so kevin kimboy yeah you're kevin kimboy yes you're yeah. vying for which seat yeah congress seat school of education congress seat school of education i've seen you have uh, i don't know we will call him a running mate or a, a somebody uh -huh. Yeah, you will introduce him, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's my agent. He's mm. called uh, the, uh, Josh. Josh. Yeah. He's my team. Okay, thank you very much. So, Kemboi, we have very few questions that uh, we are going to ask you so that maybe your supporters can see whether they can do something for you, yeah? yeah I because I the School of Education, first you are around, I think, 23 candidates. Yeah. So, for you to be fit or for you to be a winner there, you have to. We have to see whether you are serious or not, yeah? <laughs> so first, uh, uh, have you been a leader before? Like, uh, because uh, now you are vying for School of Education Congress, yes. but have you been a leader before? Yes, I've been a leader and I've been a class representative since first year. Mm, you can tell Until them. Until now, second year and third year, up to date, mm. when I'm now trying to graduate to the level of a school representative, that is in the school of education. So I've been a leader, I've also been working in the church, and also at home, I've been leading and head, heading the youth uh, association. Thank you very much. You can see how responsible is the guy here. And... Uh, the next question is, uh, how will you represent your people when you step to the office? Because we are sure that you are going to step into the office. So how, how will you help your people here in, in first in campus? Yeah, thank you for this uh, question. I really love that. So I'll be fair to all students. That is the first thing. I'll try to make myself a trusted leader and also a one who is working. So I'll be serving all my comrades, all my students, and all classmates, even those from the first years, second years, mm. third years, fourth years. Mm. So I'll be just equal to all. You will be just equal to all. You will not bother about the tribalism. You will not care uh, whether somebody is coming from which part of Kenya. You will be serving them equally. Yeah, I'll be serving them equally. Okay, thank you very much. Then uh, we have this is uh, this issue of. Uh, missing box. Yes. How will you reduce it? Because you've seen many comrades suffering for they failed to graduate and yet they did the exam, they did the cards but they failed to graduate. Will you step in to assist those guys in such a issue? Yes, I'll step in. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge that this issue of missing marks is really affecting comrades mm. from even the second years, even to those who are starting so with the issue of missing marks, I'll involve all class representatives from the different eight categories or eight groups in the School of Education. Mm. That is from the physical education, we are the special needs, and even to the ones who are enhancing, that is the EMH groups, EDS and EDA. So I'll require all the class representatives to be given the details of this missing marks from each and every student, which will be handled at the departmental level before being forwarded to the HOD to check if they have been uploaded or if they were sitting at cuts that need to be issued. I think you can see the way our leader is, uh, I think he will really assist us because we've really suffered uh, from this uh, issue of missing marks. Somebody is graduating maybe five years after the time he or she was supposed to graduate. Then according to your manifesto, because you have some manifestos here, how will you be responsible? Yeah, responsibility. Responsibility. You know, as a leader, you just have to be in charge. You just have to be aware and be a person who knows all the interests mm. of the learners, of the students that you are having. So, first of all, the affairs of the students will range from those who are lacking maybe the disease, those who are missing something in class, those of, maybe those who have not reported on it. So, I'll be handling them at a personal level that will allow me to meet with the HODs which are known the dean and also the dean of students who is a friend to me. I'll go hand in hand with the SC, that is the student council, that is from the chair, the uh, secretary general who will be helping me 
in monitoring all these programs. So in those reporting for uh, who reported late, I'll help with the consultation of the admissions office mm. and also the registrar academics on how these people can be enrolled back into the system. Yeah, the way they can be enrolled back because we've seen many are suffering in the issue of if they fail to report at the right time, they are being they are being forced to defer. Yeah, you know one academic year, which is a very serious issue here. People, maybe someone is about to do exam is when he or she realized that he didn't report. Then the whole rent that he or she has been paying go a waste. Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe just an addition also that, mm. that you know the University of Eldoret have been providing bursaries from the docket of the University of Eldoret students organization. Mm. So these have been ranging from around six hundred thousand, which have been distributed to these students. So I'll have to ensure that from the knowledge of the class representatives of these students, these class representatives will help us be aware of the students who are in need and need help. Yeah. So that they can be given these bursaries from the schools. Yeah, yeah I, I understand that. Even me, I once applied for that, but uh, I didn't get any feedback. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you were late. I don't know. Yeah. You were late. But yeah. when you get in, I'm sure that uh, one day, one time. <laughs> yeah, you just give me your name and I uh, Thank you very much. You can briefly explain for us how you will be accountable and transparent to your people. Mm. So, first of all, when I started uh, accountability, then thereafter, transparency. With accountability, I'll be answerable to all the grievances that are brought to me at the student level. First of all, by involving the peer counseling department, that will be for issues that deal with psychological issues, uh, heartbreaks, and even depression issues, and also those that deal with financial issues. Then also, for those issues that are beyond me, there will be the respective uh, authorities, which will be ranging from the HOD, the dean, and also the dean in charge of the student affairs. Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You can hear from the leader the way he will be assisting us in every situation to ensure that everybody is comfortable and is pursuing his or her cause very well here in the institution. So, another question that uh, in your manifesto you say that you are going to be hardworking. And, uh, you know, uh, when you're hardworking and uh, still we know that you're a student who is also supposed to graduate soon, so uh, by next year, yeah? yeah? So how will you balance between the working for people and also uh, working on your studies? So I've been hardworking from the start of the first year, mm. yeah? So I've been attending all the lectures and I've not been missing anything. So, so far, with uh, uh, being a hardworking student, I've been having my personal study times yeah. and also I've been involved myself in group discussions. So, that will this work of school representation will not hinder any of my studies. So, I'll be presentable at all times. regulations that have been outlaid by the US of constitution that's it yeah so you will be dealing with guys uh, transparently. transparently you don't be biased no you know biases. okay that's good and there is nothing that you will be hiding kufanya fanya chini ya maji kutakuwa na okay so how will you be uh, you say that you will be hard working how will you balance your studies and uh, serving people also as a, 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 a in, as being a leader in Congress School of Education? So as I was, as I'm saying is that I've been a leader. I've studied as a class representative since first year. Since first year. To so, mean that there is no any lecture that you missed. Yeah, unless I was sick. You've or been maybe attending I had all of them. Another duty. Okay. Yeah. So it seems that you're a very hardworking guy. Yeah. So we are sure you will be able to balance between the your studies and uh, also serving people as a leader. Mm, okay. So uh, another question is uh, how will you ensure that integrity to be the core? How will you ensure? Mm. First of all, 
starting with integrity. Mm. I'll ensure a strict ethical code. That is for me as a student leader. Mm. And then also, I'll have a strict moral. That is what I've been seeing almost from all levels, maybe from the outside church outlook and even to the inwards, to mm. the inward relation with all the students from the diff different faculties, mm. that is either from engineering and also from the school of science and all those. Okay, I think those are the few questions that we were supposed to, and what about this uh, issue of uh, uh, dressing code, how can you <laughs> assist us, because many girls have been affected because many clothes that they had, they have kept them and they are they have no other clothes where going to class you know with the new incoming administration mm. it has to be outlaid clearly that what kind of the clothes or the dress clothes that these people need to have mm. you know the ladies they can have their trousers but mm. why do you come and harass them at the, at the gates mm. you know you have to tell them that okay this is right this is wrong not that this one is <coughs> so tight or something like mm. that so you just have to say it clearly these ladies also have official trousers official dressings that are presented especially to them they make them look as students yeah, yeah. so i uh, you can see your lady uh, your leader here who may be at our tetea pale mbele so ensure that uh, when you go to the ballot you try try and elect eh? mr kemboy your full name the way it will appear in the ballot is yeah i'll be a candidate number six um my name will be kemboy kevin chariot yeah, kevin that. kemboy chariot yeah yeah okay i can see that you have other guest here uh, you can say your name and say something in support of your uh, your brother here. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I was I wanted to ensure that I must be here because of Kemboy. Mm. As you can see, uh, my introduction is my name is Ala Kikori, mm. first year. Mm. I've been supporting Kemboy through all the hostels there yes. to ensure that Kemboy gets votes there. Yeah. Because as you can see, Kemboy is a very hardworking guy. Yeah, he's very hardworking. Mm. Even if you can see, if it was another candidate, mm. you can see he has balance. Like, he has reached me as, as a first year. As a first year. And even he has gone done, that down yeah, to come uh, down. Yeah, together with you. So you can see he's a very able leader. Mm. Yeah, so I would like to tell my friends and everyone mm. that we go with Kemboy mm. for Congress come that first. Okay, thank you very much. Guys, uh, even from the outlook, you can see this is a leader. Uh, I don't have much to say, but from your own uh, eyes, you can see the way a leader is dressed, the way he's serious. <laughs> I don't uh, think <laughs> this guy likes yeah. uh, pindi jokes. at kazi mzuri. So let's go there and do something better. I think you, you talked, or you have some addition? Hmm? Okay, our friend here has something to say. Try to be a bit loud. For those who don't know me, I'm Kebaso Josh, a third year student. Pursuing education, science, math, physics. I've known Kemboy for quite a while, since we were first year. So as we go there, come the first, let's vote for Kemboy. He will help us achieve many things. Thank, thank you very much. much. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you all of you. So guys of uh, University of Eldoret, this is our leader, uh, School of Education, Mr. Kemboy. Kevin? Yes. Ilikwa? Kevin Kemboy. Kemboy C. Kevin. Oh. Yeah, that's the Kemboy C. Kevin. Uh, uh, candidate number six in the ballot, School of Education. Thank you very much. Yeah.